Wear a mask, dumb bitch. Oh god. Mm. Okay everyone, so day after day, new things seem to be coming up against James Charles and this time he's being accused again, keep in mind he's been accused of stealing ideas and concepts from his merch, from other people, for a while now within a bunch of different collections, starting with his butterfly collection. An artist came up and said that he stole that concept from them. Again, I'm just gonna throw up a little. But now, H3H3 has actually accused James Charles of stealing his new merchandise design from him and his partner. So, is it just me or is recently more and more things coming out against James Charles? Like, more so than any other YouTuber, there's actually more coming out recently with like recent stuff with James Charles than all combined Jeffrey, Shane and Taddy. And it's weird because James Charles is now self-proclaimed like keeping himself out of drama and handling things in private, whereas there seems to be more coming out from him than any of the others. Is anyone else finding this? I was talking to my friend about this last night and they were like, yeah, it's so weird. Ever since James has said that he's going to handle things in private, more drama about him has just continuously came up and it's like, hmm. It's like him getting involved in drama without having to say that he's getting involved in it, right? But let's talk about what's happening, okay? Okay, so the drama started with this tweet. Ethan posted, I know we didn't invent color blocking, but I'm having a hard time with the new James Charles merch. It's the same exact design as Hila's. Combined with the fact that his audience is so huge, many people will assume he designed it and start accusing us of plagiarism. What do you think? And he attached these photos. So this one is of James Charles's and this one is of Hila's. Now, he also included this screenshot which kind of shows how much impact James Charles has on like TikTok and stuff which means that more people are going to see the design from him and kind of think that he made it. So that was the first tweet. Whatever your opinions are on that, we can talk about it later. Then Ethan responded to that tweet and said it's possible that it's a total coincidence but he used pretty much the identical colours here too. He at least moved them around a bit. Basically, the different color scheme James kind of used as well. Now this, I'm gonna be honest, is not looking good for James because you really don't want to be called out for something like your merch for copying someone else because if you've already made those sales, it's kind of like a deal needs to be negotiated on who gets the sales and who came up with the idea. It's something that we saw with the Manny MUA and Jeffree Star palette whenever they were accused of stealing the concept from Lunar Beauty, was it? Or no, is that his brand? I don't know. Some brand came forward and basically said that they stole the concept and the idea from them. It was holographic and basically it was kind of settled in private and now we don't know if they had to sell you know copies of the makeup palette to them or some of the earnings went to the company or it was 50 50 so whenever it's about products and someone comes forward saying you stole their concept and if it's you know ruled that it is then you definitely have to pay up for it so this is very 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 messy james charles actually responded very quickly he said when you dm me yesterday i sent you the original photo that inspired my collection explained i've never seen your brand which is funny james because loray your best friend constantly wears this brand. Make it make sense. But also asked what you wanted me to do. You didn't reply. After last year, I vowed to keep conversations private and create solutions, not drama, which is funny, James, because is that the same logic for you going to parties constantly? You know, whenever you're still getting called out for them and you continue going to them, are you just going to keep them private too, which is why you haven't been posting about them as much, but you've still been going to them and you've been seen in other people's Instagram stories? Let me know. James, is that also why you unadded on Snapchat and unfollowed on Twitter? What are your longtime fans because they asked you to start wearing a mask? Yeah, we'll talk about that too, James. You've been a very shitty boy. Then James responded to his tweet and said, at H3H3, if you would like to continue our conversation and find a solution, my DMs are open. Look at James acting like he's so unproblematic. I'm sorry, I have to laugh. He's acting like he's so unproblematic and literally, nowadays, he's still one of the most problematic beauty gurus, whether you want to say it or not. Lauren Conrad, Alicia Keys, partying, this, you know. Unfollowing his fans who are calling him out for not wearing a mask, like, pff, James, please. Then Hila responded, quoting Ethan's tweet and said, I guess I might as well share some ideas behind the scenes. This is my first sketch of the color block hoodie from 2017 before we had the logo for it. And then the other picture is the pink one. This is usually how I work on our color palettes. Now a lot of people were saying this is a very popular design. We see this in all of the, you know, fast fashion places. Yeah. That's why you see it in fast fashion, because they take it from somewhere and they quickly produce it, maybe even sometimes before the original design, and then it comes out and you see it everywhere. That does not take away from the fact on where the initial concept came from. And you can say, oh, it's just colors, but it's color blocked and it's like specific patterns and it's a very individual design, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's. So it's very easy to tell when someone steals the concept, which is funny because James Charles's merchandise has the exact same color scheme right down to the yellow cuffs that Hila's has. 
How are you gonna excuse that one? Was that just a coincidence too? Hmm. Let me know. Then Ethan responded to James's tweet to him. This just gets messier and messier and says, I give you permission to share our combo, which is like, oh god. You told me you were going to sell them anyway. James is so shady. I fully believe Ethan here. I don't care. Until he can prove me wrong then. You also admitted that the similarity wasn't a coincidence. I DM'd you because I wanted to keep this private, but I find your response dismissive. That does sound like James Charles, doesn't it? Just like being dismissive towards someone else's feelings, but whenever it's against him, you know what I mean? Right? I feel like a teacher with my iPad right now. Love it. Then, Ethan, the shady fuck, brought up an old tweet from James Charles, and this was an old drama, which we will explain in a second, and he just did, hmm. Now, the tweet from James Charles is from the 7th of September, 2019. Now, this shady fuck find this tweet. It says, there are only so many colors you can put into an eyeshadow palette, and I'm not claiming to own specific colors, but when you copy the exact shades and lay it from my palette without even trying to hide it, clown emoji, clown emoji. And then Ethan responded, giving us the context. He said, for context, a company made a palette with colors very similar to his, and this was his response, which is really making James look so bad right now because it's showing that this is like a recurring pattern of behavior, which is funny because James always says, which I always believed him whenever he said this, you can choose to support someone based on if their pattern of behavior has changed. And with James, it's actually getting worse whenever he says that, oh, I'm going to judge other people by, you know, the pattern of behavior. Bitch. How about you look at yourself? So along with that tweet, Ethan attached this Instagram story from James Charles. Oh, this just gets shadier and shittier. And James Charles had posted on his Instagram story saying, five hour flight ahead, send me some questions. And the question was, what's the tea with the wet and wild palette? I can't believe Ethan found all this. And James said, the tea is that knockoffs from low quality brands will always exist in the makeup industry. This is just crazy because I never looked at WNW as a low quality- Oh, Wet n Wild, sorry, that took me a second. As a low quality brand, they have good products at affordable prices, which is very important for the industry. But I truly thought that they had more integrity. Emoji. <laughs> sorry, I have to do the emojis. Not only did they rip off my hard work and creativity, but also partake in petty Twitter comments and bullying. <gasps> it's disappointing to say the least. I don't own any colors and I certainly wasn't there to create a- Rainbow palette. There were many rainbow palettes before mine, and there will continue to be as many that will come after too. And that makes me happy. Heart emoji. I want makeup fans to play with color and express themselves, and I'm certainly not offended if they use another palette over mine. That being said, I spent over a year conceptualizing, designing, selecting colors, formulas, just like Hila and Ethan were doing, James. Hmm. Shooting photos, working on music, and making my commercial to create the marketing campaign for my palette. A rainbow palette had been done before, but a palette that can be used by artists at any skill level to create all steps of any makeup look has not been done before, and that's why my palette is something unique to the market and became a hit. Ooh. This new palette is not just a rainbow palette. It's an exact low-quality, cheap knockoff and sad ploy to capitalize on cancel culture. I will not pretend that I'm a stranger to being called out for copying a few times during my career. <laughs> that came back to bite you in the ass, mister, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. I recognize the irony here, yeah, and even more so two years later, James. But whether past situations were unintentional or an honest oversight, I have always righted my wrongs. Have you? Because Ethan's literally calling you out that... Share the conversations, let us see. And have supported smaller artists. Oh, supporting smaller artists, so he's not gonna support Hila and Ethan. Ah, I get it. At the end of the day, copying is the sincerest form of flattery, but I hope all brands take notes from this and have more integrity than this situation. But what about you, James? Can you have more integrity? Let me know. Because as of now, doesn't look it. Guys, I just want you to know that this situation is constantly unfolding. Like, this is literally 24 hours after it happened, and there were tweets that were still happening by Ethan, like, 30 minutes ago. So I suspect this will continue to go on, and especially whenever they want to share, you know, text conversations, so... We'll see. Before we start reading out some of my subscribers' opinions, I just want to say some things, right? Do I believe James Charles intentionally stole this design? No. Do I believe James Charles stole this design? Yes. Allegedly. I believe James Charles has a bunch of people in his inner circle who were wearing merch by Gila, including his best friend Lorraine, which I just said. So he's seeing that all the time. It's up to him to make that decision to be like, Lorraine, where did you get that? Instead of being like, I like that, I'm gonna go to my marketing team and be like, 
here's what we're gonna do. That's what I fully believe has happened, and I will stand by that opinion because I do believe that people see things and then over time start to think it's their own opinion. But that does not work whenever you're in the marketing world, and James, you're a self-proclaimed person who loves calling out other brands for copying off of you. So when you copy off of other people, and let's not get into the butterfly collection, which you were accused of stealing, you know, as well, why is there a difference and you're like, let's handle this in private, whenever you weren't wanting to handle it in private when it came to the wet and wild situation, you wanted to blast it over your Instagram story, blast it over your Twitter story, so, you know what I mean, there's such inconsistencies with James Charles that pisses me off, I'm gonna be so frank, it pisses me off. If you want to stick to your narrative, stick to it, okay? If I don't agree with it, at least you've stuck to it. This is not just colored merch. It's color blocks and the colors are in the exact same place as Hila and Ethan's. Including the yellow cuffs. And then the other color with the pink and purple was the exact same too with just the color switch around. James Charles's brand is literally just fast fashion. When are we gonna have that conversation? And for someone on his level and the amount of money he has, surely you would put more into making sure it wasn't. And I haven't even got into the stories that we've heard from the production of Sisters Apparel. Mm. Let's read out some of my subscribers' opinions and oof! Oof, oof, oof. Kristen said, that's a bad look for James. I'm not gonna lie, and I don't mean the merch. The merch is cute, but it'd be cuter if someone else didn't come up with it first. Jonathan said, not a, oh, what a coincidence moment. No, it's 100%, uh, let me just borrow this for my own good. Beth said, I wouldn't mind if he had used a different design, but it's a direct copying, and he's digging himself a bigger hole, considering he's got merch from May that has yet to be shipped out to people. Mm. Chelsea said, James Charles is always in scandals, and he says he does not like drama. Anne said he could have at least switched the placement of the colors. Alexandra said, I believe the color scheme in particular is very common. However, the placement of the colors being the exact same is a really bad look for him. Babylon said, James Charles, hey, can I copy your homework? H3, H3, sure, just don't make it obvious. The homework. <laughs> Stevie said, girl, what? Did he really think he wouldn't get called out? Same color palette and everything. Huda Beauty and J Star have entered the chat. Fuel Addiction said, that's just low. Come on, James, be creative. You know, release your inner artist, James. <laughs> People are saying, I want to see the picture James took inspiration from. Yeah, James, let us see them. Then we'll change our mind. Snobby Lion said, Teddy Fresh. And by the way, this is not sponsored or anything, but I really want to buy a Teddy Fresh hoodie. They look dope. Anyway. Teddy Fresh always has a vibe color palette all of its own. So when you plagiarize it, it shows. And James it's showing. Brittany said, I'm with H3 on this. James stole the exact look. Yes, it's a general look, but every color is the same. This is sus on James's part. What a shame, though. Thought he was making a comeback to be a good person. Beautiful Disaster said, I've been with H3H3 H3 for a minute, and this was definitely theirs. And James is just digging himself a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's sad since this hasn't been the first time he's done something this low. Gay Frog said, James really said he's never seen Teddy Fresh at all before. LMAO, okay, sure. Lola said, nah, James is smart enough to know that stealing H3H3's design would cause a scandal and I believe him when he says he's grown from creating drama for profit. H3H3 is smaller than James, of course, but they're still a really well-known channel. Most likely, someone from his team copied it, claimed it as their own idea to James, James didn't recognize it as a ripoff, and loved it. It's a bad look for James right now, and I feel the way he handles things could be a test to whether he's going to be in the next chapter, and how he will grow. I'd love to see him grow and teach genuine personal growth to his younger audience. But I don't know. The Victorious Aesthetic said, Not surprising, James has stolen things time and time and time again. On original on several occasions, shaking my head. Meryl said, when are we finally gonna stop James from stealing concepts and just copying them? Demi said, it's the exact same design, and this isn't the first time James has stolen looks designs before, and it's disappointing. Ryan said, someone on James's merch team hella has it out for him. At this stage in the game, it's not really an oopsie, what a coincidence, this was deliberate. Not sure how involved James was with this particular line, but if it passed many eyes and there were no objection, yeah, they're not looking out for him. I actually have a feeling James doesn't doesn't watch H3H3 and doesn't know of the Teddy Fresh line while well, his best friend wears it, so it's kind of hard for him not to. Think his team presented him with the idea and James act like he spends so much time on it. Well, that's just a character of how much involved he is in his own stuff, you know what I mean? It's all a money game.
I blame his team for following through with it and not advising James Best. Even if James did come up with the idea, it should have been rejected. Period. Sylvia said James literally steals everything and slaps sisters on it. Bebop said, honestly hilarious, I wouldn't put it past James. Okay guys, there are literally hundreds of you writing on this because you're all very opinionated and most of it is just people being like, yeah, I believe this is stolen because James has done this before. So, I want to know where you currently lie with this. I understand that there's only so many colors, but whenever it's color blocking and they're in the exact same color scheme, it's a bit shady. And especially the way James was like, I tried to handle this in private, and then Ethan's like, yeah, so did I. Share the screenshots. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not a good look at all. Allegedly. Right? But guys, let me know what your opinion is. Let's have that conversation below. I love you. I will see you in my next one, and 